hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to everybody that's been coming in that has been subscribing to my channel that means well thank you so very much okay so you all i reported that you know big bird was pulled over y'all okay well now word on the street is he was locked up Again, y'all, he was arrested. And he's been charged with more toys possession, okay? He's also been charged with street pharmacy stuff, y'all, okay? And they said he had a lot of it on him. Now, ask yourself this question, y'all. Remember, I kept telling y'all, these rappers, they are not making money like you think they are, okay? A lot of their money is coming from the street pharmacy stuff. Okay, and what they did to Mo3 got the block hot, y'all. That's why they getting pulled over like this. Now, if Karma ain't spinning blocks, I don't know what it is. Okay, um, just like the the boxer. Now, word on the street is some people were saying that the boxer was scared to go to Vegas for the fight because they were saying that it was going to be like some Tupac stuff. Okay, him coming there. All right. So apparently Mo3 got, you know, people there, people that love him. OK, so this is what, you know, is coming out that he was scared to go to Vegas. Scared for his life now, y'all. Do you see how they done messed up all of their own careers? Even the ones that might have had a little bit of touch of a career out here rapping. They all done messed up for themselves. They can't go out of Dallas too much. If they go out of Dallas, they got to be worried about somebody taking them out. Okay? And this video is for educational and uh, entertainment purposes only. Okay, y'all? So everything is alleged. But this is what they're saying. He was scared. But on the other hand, they're saying that it's retinol or something and his eye was torn. And they're saying that that can't be fixed. So, I don't know. Ain't no eye doctor, y'all. Okay? But they're saying that he is going blind in one of his eyes. Okay? Now, the crazy part, somebody told me or mentioned this in a comment section. They said that Mo3 wrote a song about or had a song out or something about, you know, one of his enemies going blind. I haven't, I don't know what song it is, y'all. If y'all know it, please send it to me. Please send me the link because this is crazy. Okay? And from the look of that mug shot on uh, Big Bird, he's not looking too happy, y'all. You know, that song, Headlock? It looked like they in the headlock now. That's what it's looking like to me. And um, like I said, this whole thing is crazy. It's, it's, like I said, it's a spiritual warfare going on. And something is a brewing, y'all, okay? I told y'all between now and September the 3rd is when they're supposed to reset Devin's Brown's murder charge, okay? And I said, we're going to see what's going to happen in between those dates. Now you see, they not playing with them, y'all. Okay? And even though he wrote that song, Headlock, how much, do, you know, how much them feds cost, it ain't looking like he can bam this time, y'all. Okay? They're in their tails. Like you wouldn't believe. Now, the thing that I don't understand, the person that has his hands in everything. Now, people were saying, you know, I did get some messages saying that background dancer, some of his little smoke shops, you know, that he was doing illegal gambling in the back or whatever. They got shut down. Now, I heard that the police had raided those. OK. But he's the only one they have not touched so far. He's the only one they haven't touched. So. What is going on that background dancer, you know, is being protected? I don't know. Or is they just letting him bury his own self? Because he talked too much. If he talked that much around on social media, you know he's talking when he around his boys and everybody else, okay? He's running his mouth. Now, something else been brought to my attention, too. They are saying that background da dancer, you know, he got this bulletproof sprinter or whatever now, car. And people are saying that he is sleeping in his truck, y'all. Do y'all believe it? <laughs> 
Because look at his face, how it's breaking out and stuff. He looked like he's stressed. He looked like he is so stressed and he's still trying to keep a straight face. But he really looks bothered right now. So, could he be sleeping in the car? I don't know. But this is what people were saying. He's sleeping in the car now because it's, you know, bulletproof. Now, I don't know why he think he can get away with sleeping in the car, y'all. Because anybody could come, you know, light it up. And I'm not talking about what he hitting it up either okay y'all this girl is on fire <laughs> that's what i'm talking about okay so i don't know why he think that's safe that's not safe okay you sleeping in your car is not safe my dear darling and that's nasty y'all well it's not nasty if that's what you have to do you have to do what you got to do but it's nasty for him okay because he is sitting in that car going crazy that's what it looks like, okay? Some people had to sleep in a car for the, you know, make ends meet and then re regroup to do some things. But him, him sitting, laying in the car, sleep, waking up, doing videos, ain't brushed his teeth, you know, that's nasty for him. It is, y'all. It's disgusting. But anyway, um, I just wanted to jump on here really, really quick and let y'all know that it is true, okay, to my knowledge. He is locked up, okay? This is the second arrest. And when I hear something else, I will let you all know. But for now, this is where we are. And boy, oh boy, like I said, ain't that karma spinning the block? Spinning. It's amazing how some people are getting out and some people is going in. Some people is put on house arrest. Some people is just staying in. It's it's weird. And then other people is moving around. I told y'all, it's like a domino effect now. It's like they playing musical chairs. You go in, you come out. You go in, you come out. You go in, you stay in. And I have totally forgot about um, Sogeo. He's still in there, y'all. He's still in there. And, you know, I was talking about... Kiwan and Devin is they telling we got another person in there that could be telling so Gayo is in there Okay, so he could be running his little so Gayo mouth his little Gayo mouth. He could be running it We don't know but somebody is telling something okay and You see that you see it You see that there is some mojo going on and it is rad in they backs right now. It is rad in them, y'all. So, um, I am going to end this video right now. Oh, another thing I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start putting up, like, my favorite products that I use. So that maybe it'll help somebody else. Okay? So, um, I'm going to start doing that on my videos. Okay? So, um... And I'll leave the description, you know, in the description box, I'll leave the links to everything that I talk about at the end of my other videos. I'm not going to do it on this one because this was just a quickie to let you all know that he was arrested. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. We don't know if he got a bun. I don't know all of that stuff yet, but he was picked up and he did have a large sum of street pharmacy stuff on him. Okay, now the part that I don't understand, why is he still running around acting like, you know, a regular old mo on the street, you know, trying to swerve people? I don't know. But this goes to show you where the majority of their money comes from. Illegal stuff. This is where their money comes from. It's not coming from their music because they're not coming out with anything that's, that sounds like anything. So this just goes to show you that they're all getting paid off of all the little uh, extra stuff that they were doing on the street, okay? Which further tells me, why in the world would you take Mo3 out, allegedly? Why would y'all take him out? They just brought heat on themselves. They just brought unnecessary enemies on themselves, unnecessary fans that don't like them now because they took out Mo3. They can't travel like they want to, even in the city where they from, without having a bunch of security with them. They can't travel outside of the city without having security. It's like they messed up really bad, okay? And like what somebody had brought to my attention that, you know, about them going to Vegas, if you think about it, 
And they and this person told me, you know, somebody told me that was like they might want to move the fight to Dallas. So that he'll be more comfortable there. Which make a little sense. But if he going bland in one eye, it doesn't matter. But it do make a little sense because if he go to Vegas, he can't take his regular guys with him with their, you know, illegal toys. He have to get some real people to go with him to Vegas. You know, with their, you know, with their toys. So it's a difference when you're protected in your city and you got a lot of crooked cops that protects you in your city. It's a difference between that and going to somebody else's city and being protected. It's like a 50-50 chance when you go somewhere else. Okay? Because people are lighting up. They hitting up cops now. Look at the cops that's being taken out now too. Okay? So just think about all of this. Is it coming back to bite them in their butts, y'all? Is they still laughing now? Because they don't look so happy. All right? So please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And I will be trying to keep you all informed as anything comes in to me. Okay? So thank you so much. And have a beautiful day, y'all. Peace. Be safe, too.